Hi, this is Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today we're going to be making a vanilla pudding cake. First, we need to go ahead and turn on the oven to 350 degrees. We will be using a 13 by 9 by 2 inch pan, and I went ahead and greased it. So I just used butter to grease it. You could use a cooking spray. And now we're going to go ahead and start on the first layer. We are going to start the pudding over there on the stove. Let's go. I've got a medium saucepan and I've got my heat on medium. I have put in one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. I poured in a little bit of the milk. We're using uh, three cups of 2% milk. I poured in a little bit and then I stirred it up so I wouldn't have any lumps of that cornstarch. And then I poured in the rest of the milk. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in half a cup of heavy whipping cream, which is what I have right here. Now that I've added the cream and I've stirred it, we're going to go ahead and add in three quarter cup of granulated cane sugar and a fourth teaspoon of salt, which I have right here. Now that the sugar and the salt's been added, we are going to heat this mixture on medium heat and we are going to whisk constantly until it becomes a simmer. The mixture's starting to boil now. We need to go ahead and set the timer for two to three minutes. I will go ahead and set my timer for three minutes. I forgot to mention while it is boiling, you need to be stirring constantly for those two to three minutes. Now that it's been three minutes, we need to take it off the burner and turn off the heat. We're going to be adding in one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract I have right here. And then we'll be adding in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please click the button down below. For those who have already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. I'll go ahead and put those ingredients in and whisk it in. Now that I've whisked those ingredients in, we're going to go ahead and pour it into our buttered 13 by 9 by 2 pan that I have right here. Your pudding mixture should look like this in the pan. Now we're going to go ahead and work on uh, the cake that is going to go on top of this. Now we're going to work on the cake part. I have a bowl here. We need a whisk. So I have in this bowl here one and three quarter cup of all purpose flour, one cup of granulated cane sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that into our big bowl and I'm just going to whisk it. And here's the sugar I had there. And that was sh the sugar. And now we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. And we're going to go ahead and you could take another bowl or you can take a measuring cup like I've done here. And in the measuring cup, I put two large eggs, one and one quarter cup of milk. I use 2% milk and then two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And I kind of just beat it around. And now we're going to go ahead and take our wet ingredients here and we're going to put it into our dry ingredients. I'm going to pour a little bit in here and then I'm going to mix that in. That way it doesn't splatter all over the place. We're just trying to incorporate that in here. Trying to mix up the... Now, it's okay to have lumps in there. It does not have to be perfect. And then your mixture should look like this. It's kind of like real just runny. Just looks like batter. Uh, and then to this, we're going to go ahead and add in six tablespoons of melted butter, which I have here. A little chunk here on there. We're going to add that in there. Okay. 
And now I'm going to mix that in. And again, you're kind of whisking it in. If you mix too fast, the butter might just splatter all over the place. And there you go. And now we'll get ready to go ahead and put it over our pudding. Here's what the cake batter should look like. We need to go ahead and take our cake part and we need to kind of stream it totally across the pudding. If I can do this while you can actually see it here. I'm just kind of going back and forward to try to get it as much as we can over the pudding. Now, this is the first time I have made this. I have made a hot fudge pudding cake, but I've never made the vanilla one, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be good. It sure sounded good, and yeah, I mean, it looked good when I uh, viewed it. Just get the last little bit there, okay. Now we need to go ahead and we are gonna take another baking sheet, or I call it a cookie sheet. You wanna have it where it has the ridges around the sides. And we're gonna put this pan that the pudding cake is in and we're gonna put that on top of the baking sheet. The reason being is the cake's gonna cook, some of the pudding will actually kind of bubble up over to the sides and this way it won't drip in our oven and make a mess. So we definitely need that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the 350 degree oven and we are gonna bake it for 30 to 40 minutes. And, and just until the edges and the top are set. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I ended up baking it 40 minutes, as you can see, you can see some of the pudding right there. It actually was bubbling up over the sides and the top looks like it's browned nicely. After 30 minutes, it still didn't look honestly on the top that it was done, so that's why I did it. Uh, you know, I did it like another five and it still didn't, so I ended up doing it a total of 40 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and try this vanilla pudding cake. Looks good. Now it's still warm. I thought it would, you know, kind of taste a little bit better if it was still warm. Mm. Mm. That is good. The cake is, it's not, I'd say it's a little moist in there because of the pudding. And the vanilla pudding to me tastes better than regular vanilla pudding because this one had heavy cream added in with the milk. So to me, it tastes a little bit more, I guess you call it naughtier, more richer because of the heavy cream. It tastes really good. And with it being warm, it's just something good to have on, you know, whatever day. You don't have to have it just when it's cold, you know, cold outside. You can have it, you know, anytime, special occasion for your family or friends, or just any time. I think it's fabulous. If I had some fresh fruit, I probably would go ahead and top it with some fresh fruit or extra whipping cream to put it on top if you're wanting to you know, present it to your uh, family or friends. Well, thank you for watching. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, and I hope you have a good day.